Salutations everyone, my name is Food Cat, and welcome back to Silent Hill. So we are now in the other world to Midwich Elementary School, and we're going to go ahead and look for items before we continue off. Just because people always call me out on that, which is a big pet peeve of mine by the way. I know people would just keep telling me, you missed this or that, uh, you're not playing the game right. It, it just, it takes the fun out of the game. Alright, so here we go. Gotta go through here, I think. Yeah, overall condescending. <sighs> there is a rubber ball, take it. Yes. What is it needed for? Fluorescent pink rubber ball used by children. That does not help me in any situation. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna try not to shoot any of these monsters. Even though they're doing this, you're just like, they're attempting to make me to be the worst misanthrope. I forgot that I have to hold a sprint. Oh uh, my gosh. Is there anything here? It does not look like it. You missed this or that. Get over it. I won't be able to find anything in there. Okay, I guess we'll check here. What is this room? Oh, it's a classroom. I don't think we've ever been in one of these. Uh, let's see. Anything in here? Yes, there is. There is a picture card. Take it. Yes. Uh, let's see what the picture card's all about. A rectangular card with a picture of a key found on a desk in a classroom. No physical key? Okay. I guess no frills. Let's see where it goes from there. Maybe it's gonna be a hint later on. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Jammed? Are you kidding me? Um... Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna have to miss the item here. So, we're on the other side now, right? I can't go through before. Alright, let's check the infirmary. Alright, through here. Hopefully, there's some health. Well, we can save here, but as always, I can't save with this because I'm using an emulator. Health drink? Yes, we'll take those. I don't understand why people are telling me to save as much bullets as possible and trying to dodge all the enemies. Like, there's not that much of the first aid kit or the health drinks compared to the bullets. So I think I'm better off using my bullets. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let go of me, please. I know. Seriously, that's frustrating when people tell me to just dodge all this. Uh, I'm in... Yep, I'm in the red zone. See, look at this. I'm only stocked with three. If you compare that to the bullets... Where's the bullets? 104. I I'm pretty sure I can use enough of that. It's not like I'm gonna lose all of it in just one shot. Anywho, let's charge of that. I know I'm kind of just overcompensating at this point, but still. It just, it irks me when people leave comments about trying to help me and stuff. I mean, if you really have anything to say, just... Let's talk about all of that at the end, after I get my full thoughts. What? Is this a door? Oh yeah, this is... It was that one picture. If it is, there's no keyhole, or even a knob. If I push it, it moves a bit, but it certainly won't open. What's this? In the center of the door is a horizontal slot. What is it for? For this. Hmm. Keeping it linear, I see. Alright, so we'll go in. I guess we'll check these rooms. These are the bathrooms, right? Uh, yes they are. There's nothing in here useful. And there's gonna be like that pinch of item that I won't be able to see and then people are gonna say, you missed that. 
Okay, yeah, I, I gotta stop talking about that and just play the game my way. I just hope people get the picture already. It's just a pet peeve of mine when people leave comments of helping and such. Okay, so we just found some more bullets and... Wait, did it say shotgun ammo? Oh, yeah. I guess we're getting a shotgun later on. Yeah, I saw the word shotgun and I was like, ah. Huh. I thought I might have misread. Wait, what am I doing? There was like a gate over here. Oh, through here? I oh, know, I just unlocked that. I don't, don't want to go back out there. Um. Wait, something new happened? Oh, yeah. There's a couple of new things now. Let's see if I miss anything here. Oh, this changed too. They're setting off a different camera angle. Oh, okay. Another cadaver. <laughs> With Harry being just completely impassive. Oh, okay, cool. He has a shotgun. A hanging body. Why would somebody... Yeah, it really does shock me that you really don't have a reaction to all of this. Leonard Ryan, the monster lurks. The monster lurks? What's that supposed to mean? I guess we'll find out. There's supposed to be some boss fights, so... I'm expecting this episode to be that time. Anywho, I guess we'll continue on. This door next. Oh my gosh. Uh, here. I, re I really don't even know where I'm going at this point. Oh, we're in the teacher's room. Anything useful around here? Like those handgun ammos? Alright. Phone. Can't use the phone. Well, alright. What a coincidence, huh? That was Cheryl's voice. I know it. Where is she? Cheryl. Alright. I guess we're off to save my bereft child. Daddy Mason's coming. Let's see. Does this door need to be accessible? Yes, it does. So now all those doors are accessible. So I guess we'll go upstairs from here. Uh, let's see. We'll go through here. Jammed, huh? Yeah, I'll check this area first. Doesn't sound like anything's deleterious. I say that, and now I've jinxed myself. I guess we'll get those handgun bullets. Really? How'd you go through the door? See, we need to find more of those, like, health kits. I might as well just implement a cheat at this point. Uh, it's really frustrating. Uh, through here. Yeah. Now we'll check this door next. Jammed, huh? Okay, let's see. Seriously, these things are the worst. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, 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 go through here. Was it now a dog? Uh, where is it? Oh. Woof woof! No. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing inside. 
Well, okay then. And what do we have here? You have a key, sir. Let me take that. There's a library reserve key. Take it. Most definitely. Okay, so I just have to go all the way to the end. There we go. Now, what do we have in this place? Huh. There's like hanging bodies. Let's get that. First aid, sweet. I need a lot more of those. What's this? The Monster Lurks is the book's title. Chapter 3, Manifestation of Delusions. Poltergeists are amongst these negative emotions like fear. Worry or stress manifest into external energy with physical effects. Nightmares have in some cases been shown to trigger them. However, such phenomena does not appear to happen to just anyone. Although it's not clear why, adolescents, especially girls, are prone to such occurrences. Really? Out of all people? This is why they took my Cheryl? Oh boy. Especially girls. I like that they had to point that out. Now there's another book. Hearing this, the hunter armed with bow and arrow said, I will kill the lizard. But upon meeting his opponent, he held back taunting, who's afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Wow, he must be good at food challenges then. Then the huge creature attacked, jaws opened wide. This was what the calm main want- <laughs> the calm main? The calm- what the man wanted. Calmly drawing the bow, uh, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Yeah, he's got to shut his trap, right? Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw, and the lizard fell down dead. Uh, this is from an old fairy tale. I remember reading it as a kid. Why is it... Why is it relevant to the story again? We'll see. And I don't want to see any spoilers. Okay, let's see here. This... I really don't know where we're going at this point. That's locked, so... Where are we going? Wait. Have we been here before? This is a classroom, so unless this is like different classrooms that I haven't been to. Wait, do I go back out here? That's unlocked. Huh. I'm a little befuddled right now. Oh wait, this is a new door. Oh, what? I'm not familiar with this area. Where are we? Oh. We're up on the roof. Hmm. Is there a meaning behind all this? Do I put the rubber ball here? There's a hanging key. It's just out of reach. Well, you might as well just get like a coat hanger. Uh, they don't have those though. Let's see. A valve? Don't mind if I do. When does the rubber ball come in play? Oh. It's draining into the wrong hole. Maybe I could plug that up somehow. Oh, okay. Seems commonsensical. But what makes you think it would be useful to carry a rubber ball, but not distilled water? <laughs> what a enigmatic man. Alright. So now, it should flow through. So we'll go ahead and enter this. It's like Harry knows the future. He knows this is going to come in use later on in the game. But distilled water, no. Not of any use. I gotta stay dehydrated. Freaking moron.
Alright, so... That was sort of a Nun Massacre reference. If I can recall that. Let's see. Where does that go? That goes to the courtyard, right? Why would it be in a classroom? That'd be a little absurd. Alright, so let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, here we go. Alright, classroom key. Alright, so I can go back upstairs, right? Uh, let's see how my health's looking. Alright, it's fine. I just have to dodge them, that's it. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Then back upstairs. These are the classrooms I need to go to, right? Yeah, so we'll go ahead and go through this doorway. Oh, there's enemies now? When there wasn't before? Really? Get off of me. Freaking squirts. Alright. There we go. Ah. Uh, Uh, let's see here. Health drink? What if that's all I came for? No, th there's got to be a way to progress. There's got to be more somewhere. That couldn't have just been it. Unless this goes to another area that I couldn't go to before. Another health drink. I guess we'll find out. Alright, that goes back to the rooms. Wait, downstairs? Let's see, have we been... We have not been into... No, 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 we've been there. Uh, I know I'm checking the map frequently, but... I really do need its assistance. Oh, yeah, yeah, this room. I suppose I do need to be around here. Oh. It's a puzzle. Sure. Uh... What about this one? It's probably gonna take me some time. Yeah, that turns it over. What does that really say? Right one more time. I don't know. Third time's a charm. Let's do it with this one now. Ah! Third time's a charm, as I said. Okay, let me have a safe state here. I don't know what could be harmful throughout this. I have a feeling we're upcoming to a boss fight soon, so... Gonna cut it off for a bit. Also, I really do need to get my sleep. It's only like two minutes until five o'clock in the morning. I did get some sleep earlier. I was supposed to play a few hours ago, but I just, I fell asleep. I got drowsy. Alright, see you guys in a bit. And I am back. Let me go ahead and switch to my shotgun. I have a feeling that's what I'm gonna need. I only have six of those? Wow. Only six ammo. Well, gotta make it last, I suppose. It's a shotgun. Should be very powerful. So what do I have to worry about? Mm hmm. Ah ha ha! What is this creature? Hi. Yeah, open that gaping mouth of yours. Ah, maybe that's what the gaping mouth is. Uh, 
I don't know if I killed her or not. I can't see. Did I die? Oh no, I killed it. It took all my shotgun ammo. Now people are gonna tell me, you're supposed to shoot it when it has that gaping mouth, you idiot. Okay, so, what did we just see? Huh? What was that? That's what I've been wondering. Who in the hell was that? <laughs> well, well, okay. Where am I? This is a boiler room? And why is that a shocker? So dead bodies aren't a shocker, but being in the boiler room again is a shocker. Alright. What's this? It looks like a silver key. There is a K Gordon key. Take it. Sure. Alright, at least I made a safe state, so I can go back and try to save my shotgun ammo later on. I know people are going to call me out from using all my shotgun ammo. That's fine, I killed the first boss. I hear a... A church bell, maybe. Who is ringing the bell? Possibly an apparition? Has that not ring a bell to you at this point? I said, has it ring a bell? <laughs> I didn't mean to make that a joke. Okay. Uh... Guess we'll go through here. Jammed. Well, that's a little absurd. Just make the shortcut for me. It's not a tan sending anymore. Okay, I guess we'll go through the courtyard then. What, really? Are you making me go in a complete circle? Wait. Oh, we're here. <laughs> I was thinking we were trying to go to a circle to go here. List of teachers. K. Gordon. That's it. I'll note the address down on the map. Oh. So I guess that wasn't a minutia after all. Alright, terrific. So I guess we'll go to K. Gordon's house and then I'll end it from there. It's about time we're back to this sort of atmosphere. I didn't really like the whole Tanabra setting that they had with the school. It's becoming... I don't know, too dark, I suppose? I don't really know what to say there, but anywho. Oh, there's no danger here either. At least not right now. So, where is... Oh, well, I'll just go from here. I meant to go to the map. Oh, okay, so... We just gotta go down from here. Well, basically straight. Yeah, through this setting. Let's not lose track now. We gotta know exactly where his house is. I guess I can't miss it, huh? Yeah, they have a little alleyway here. Yep, we're in the correct spot. Ah, uh, this area. There, there's probably gonna be a bunch of mutts here. Oh, you are. Uh... Let me go ahead and go through here. Oh, wait, maybe this is it. Oh, it is. Oh, sweet. Okay. So now I'll go inside and then end the playthrough. Alright. So I hope y'all enjoyed this playthrough of Silent Hill. We finally made some good progress this time. The last episode was kind of lackadaisical because we didn't really have that much progression in terms of trying to find a boss. We did do like a piano puzzle, which wasn't really that difficult. But we'll see where it goes from here. Hopefully we'll fight another boss in the next episode. But... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one because it's 5.08 and I really do need to get some sleep. Or at least go back to sleep. Alright, stay awesome, good saviors.